All right. Let's see. Is everything working? Is the sound on? No. <laughs> no, it's not. There we go. That should be working. I don't want to have any more mishaps with Persona 4, right? I already had like two separate moments in this playthrough where where uh, I've came back from break or something and then fucking I look over at the screen and it's like, wait a minute, the game audio isn't going. Oh no, <laughs> damn it. It's been silent for like five minutes. Okay, but anyways, welcome back. Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine, everything in between. To more Persona 4 Golden. Where we last left off. Um, what the fuck do we do? We were... Wasn't really much story to be had. Nothing like really progressive, I guess, right? It was like... I don't know. <laughs> just kind of just... Foibled around, right? Hung out with some of the characters and that's really it. Nothing... Nothing crazy happened, but you know what? Story's gonna progress around the stream. Well, it might progress, depending. Because usually, between streams, I would I would take some time, and then I would go and make another save file and grind out for the next dungeon, so it wouldn't be too difficult. But, uh, I didn't have time to do that this time around. So, might, might run into some difficulties. Right? Anyways. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Welcome back, Kabito. Nice to see you again. Alright, so what the hell was I doing? Um, is tomorrow the field, the field trip? School trip begins tomorrow. Okay, yeah. That's what we were doing. Bunch of story. And some shooby doobie. <laughs> School trip is today. You're going to Tsumi Port Island for three days and two nights. Oh, by the way, if my voice sounds a little weird, that's mainly because I am, right now at this moment, I am eating some more coffee candy that I had last night. I got like this big ass bag full of it. And I just, I don't know, I just, I guess I just needed like a energy boost or some bullshit. So you might hear that. <laughs> Gekugan High School in front of the entrance. Oh, the memories! Oh, what's up with this place? They come flowing back. Way too big. You know, usually when it comes to playthroughs, I try not to play them out of order, right? I try to start with with like the first game, then move on to the next. But Persona Four, it's Persona Four, so I mean, eh, eh, you just kind of start. So for those who don't know anything about Persona Three, this ain't gonna mean nothing to you. Wait, if we can't beat them on size, we're totally sunk. But right now, I think I'm looking at maybe third or second best girl from P3. Well, <clears throat> next I will explain about our fine educational institution and the reasons for its establishment. I'd like to start with a proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. That motherfucker stole that shit from Mitsuru. What a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> he stole her graduation speech. <laughs> Not even her graduation speech. Which, which was it? It was her... The beginning of the year speech? Asshole. <laughs> oh, is this principal in love with his own voice or what? Welcome back, Breezy. Nice to see you again. Chie, he'll hear you. I usually don't stream these nights, right? But tonight, I was just like, fuck it. I got some sick days I can call out of work for, and I was like, I don't feel like going anyways. <laughs> Our school is closed today, but uh, because of this rare opportunity for cultural exchange... Is it? Oh, you know what? It is. It is, yeah. My bad. I'm sorry. I think that speech was his, um, was his reply to Mitsuru's speech. It wasn't a copy of it. Because she had a proverb in hers, and then he's like, well, I gotta fucking... I gotta do my shit too, you know? <laughs> gotta go to sleep, my stretch is keeping you awake. That's how it be sometimes. Some of our students will walk you through these halls. First though, 
A student body representative will say a few words. Everybody shut the fuck up. Thank you, principal. Oh my god, it's your hero. Damn, girl, you grew up. Welcome to GeckoCon High School. I'll be seeing you in the P3 playthrough. My name is Chihiro Fushimi. I'm a third year student and the student council president here at GeckoCon. One of the best characters in P3 handed down her fucking social link right on to one of the best characters in P4. Just handed it right to Nanako said, there you go, take the mantle. It's an honor to meet you all today. Holy crap, that girl's unbelievable. Inconceivable even. Yeah, you're right. She is cute. I gotta say, she's the most bewitching, bespectacled beauty I've ever beheld. All right, Yosuke, come fuck down. You guys, stop overreacting. This is the first time our school has invited another student body for a true cultural exchange. To learn about others is to learn about oneself and is the first step on the road to self-betterment. Damn, this girl, I'm learning about need. some things right now. To ensure a worthwhile experience for each and every one of you, we will do our best to help you accomplish that. So let us enjoy our time together. Thank you very much. She beat me in every category. Got that right, Coconut Head. All right. Everyone get into groups with your classmates. I forgot fucking Kajwagi even existed. Jesus. Oh no. Oh my god, isn't Kajwagi in P3 portable? Now I think about it, I think she is. She makes like a little appearance. Excuse me, could I bother you for a moment? Girl, you can bother me any day. This is today's schedule for everyone. Could you hand it out later, please? Yeah, she, oh, she originated from P3 Portable. Wait, no, she couldn't, no, she didn't originate from P3 Portable. Because uh, P3 Portable is 2009 and um, Persona 4 Golden Van uh, Persona 4 Golden, fuck. Persona 4 Vanilla is 2008. Well, at least in the West, it's 2008. Right, so she was a callback. Kind of like how, uh, kind of how, like, um, in 2009 they were working on Catherine, so Vincent's like an Easter egg in that. I forgot to do it myself. She was there. You are right. She tried Sorry to, to be she so tried disorganized, to. <laughs> and you all came so far. Kashiwagi was trying to put some work in. <laughs> oh man, you're doing a great job, Chihiro. No, I'm still struggling. Even with everyone's support, I'm barely pulling through. I'm like, I'm holding myself back from like making a joke that's like a super spoiler right now, but I can't. Mm. I used to get nervous very easily, and I once had a phobia of men too. In fact, I didn't write the speech on my own. One of the former student council presidents helped me. Yeah, Vincent was fucking crazy. I think I think it was confirmed that like Catherine does take place in the Persona universe. She was the president my first year here, and she was amazing. I always looked up to her. Persona's one of those weird things where like fucking where like everything that happens in Persona, it's all canon. Not once is it, like, non-canon. Even the things that are supposedly non-canon are still canon. <laughs> you played them, so they're immune to spoilers. Eh. Some people watch the... You know, this is gonna get uploaded on YouTube, and then some people watch the, uh... The VODs on Twitch while it's still up there. I should call her later and tell her the speech was a success. I remember I had some people message me, and they were like, uh... They are like, man, I can never catch this shit live, but I do watch the VODs when I have the chance. I'm sorry. Listen to me going on and on about myself. I have to stop babbling when I get nervous. You know, if I wasn't too worried about spoilers, I'll be playing fucking Ultimax right now. Um, your group is scheduled for a special lecture soon. The classroom is on the second floor. I have some arrangements to make with your student council, so please excuse me. Did I just hear her say special lecture? We came all this way to be lectured? And we're also gonna be lectured by the worst fucking teacher in that goddamn game. Let's see, our class is... It's being taught by someone named Mr. Adagawa. The lecture's about... Kabbalah. I fucking hate Adagawa. That guy doesn't know how to shut the fuck up. 
Cabo what? You don't know? It's a casino. What? So, when's our free period? Uh, ooh, we don't get one. We have classes all through today. Tonight and tomorrow we'll be staying at a hotel. We'll have free time tomorrow and the day after until we leave at noon. Okay, well that's not too bad, right? I mean, well... I mean, it's like free, free time until like curfew, I guess. So like a regular day, right? And then the next day until noon. So if you wake up real early... Gotta be kidding me! Come on, guys. Let's focus on our studies for now, so we can enjoy our free time later. If you woke up at like 10 o'clock, that would be fucked, right? Like, God damn it! I got two hours? No! Oh my god, he doesn't even voice his own shit. Ugh. <sighs> <clears throat> Let's take some time reading this shit. I fucking hate you, Edagawa. Welcome. Nice to meet you all. A meeting is only the beginning stage of parting. The Alpha and the Omega. My name is Edagawa, and I'll be keeping you company for this period. You are all from Yasugami High, eh? Ah, a high school of many gods. I had considered a lecture on Kabbalah philosophy, but I have a better idea. <laughs> Since I was able to meet you all today, I shall tell you a story of partings. One could say that this is Japan's oldest tale of curses. You all know about the gods who created this country, I assume. The two gods who gave birth to this country are the god Izanagi and goddess Izanami. They got along very well. But one day, Izanami died when giving birth to Kagetsuchi. Yeah, that, that's Kagetsuchi. Yeah, Kagetsuchi, the fire god. Fuck, I'm sorry. Just... Like, I paused for a moment because I said Kagatsuchi, and I instantly just had, like, fucking Vietnam flashbacks to not turn. Because I literally just finished that game for, like, the first time a couple of months back. Like, on my own time. And I fucking... Uh. Well, we'll talk about Nocturne when we get to Nocturne, if I ever do Nocturne. Fucking God. Extremely saddened by this, Izanagi left for the land of the dead to bring back Izanami. Yomi, the dark dark underworld. There, Izanagi asked Izanami, who had become a dweller in that land of shadows, to, bring, to come back with him to the land above. The goddess replied by saying she would negotiate with the god of the underworld and ask Izanagi to wait for her. However, Izanagi became curious to know what was going on, so he broke his promise and set his comb alight to look around. What he saw was the goddess Izanami, whose body was completely covered in filth and maggots. Terrified, Izanagi ran away, but the enraged Izanami chased after him. After dodging the many demons sent after him, Izanagi reached the entrance of the underworld. Y oh god. Fucking these names. <clears throat> Yomotsu Har Harasaka? Hi Hirosaka? Hirosaka? Something like that? I don't fucking know. He set in place a large boulder as a barrier between the two worlds and got away unharmed and then he said ha ha colossal titan make your way through this shit. When the dreadful goddess reached the boulder he said his farewells to her. This is the curse known as the koto- oh fuck koto- oh, shit I'm not even gonna try I'm gonna fucking cry if I say that word. Curses beget curses and Izanami said to the god if you're gonna treat me this way I will kill a thousand humans in your world each day. Izanagi re regretfully accepted that the bonds between them were severed, saying, Then I shall give life to 1,500 each day. Thousands died and ten thousands were born. That is the curse upon this country. Many of you may have already known this famous story. Now, the etymology, the name Izanagi and Izanami, comes from the word Izan- Fuck, Izanao? Shit, which means to invite. I'd be delighted if you have if you have accepted this story today as an invitation to acquire knowledge. That reminds me, in the olden days, people took this story seriously. Things such as lighting lighting only one fire at night and throwing combs were taboo. By the way, at Hanano Hanano Awar fuck Awar Awar fuck I can't even say it. Awaya fuck damn it. The grave where Izanami is said to have descended to the underworld. 
To this day, people to uh, tolerate well. People decorate it with flowers when they hold festivals nearby. It may be merely ceremonial. Ceremonial? What the fuck? Ceremonial? <laughs> what the hell? I'm killing myself here. But everyone wants it to look beautiful. It's how they show their consideration to the gods who may feel that way. Oh my god, the bell ring, please. Ah, oh, time's up already. I may have gone on a little too long. Oh my fucking god, I'm gonna kill myself. Just treat everything as canon because it's all fiction anyways. Yeah. I mean, that's one way to look at it, right? But then, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, it's, it's really weird when you think about it. Because you're like, you're like, you're like, it's all good stories, right? Well, depending on what you're talking about, like some may be good, some may be bad, right? The fact that it happened, it happened, whether it's, whether it's official quote unquote fact, like no matter what, it happened anyways, right? Like the, like the Zelda CDI games. We try to, we try to pretend that that shit doesn't exist, but it happened, you know, that's something that exists in history. It's just there. Oh boy, I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. And it's weird because we care so much. Like everybody's fucking sad that Dumbledore died. And it's like, my guy doesn't exist. But we're all sad though. And then he came back to life for like two seconds and he all went, right, By the way guys, I was shitting are. in my pants the whole entire the time. Seaside clamshell in. Some people who won't play Persona Q or Q2 because it's non-canon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's it's non-canon, quote unquote, right? So they're missing out on a ton of humor. I haven't played Persona Q2. That is, uh, you know, I, I think I said it before this playthrough, but Persona Q2 and um and like the uh and the Japanese only phone game that's like a prequel to three or whatever. Those are the only games I haven't played in the Persona verse, at least to my knowledge. Uh, but I haven't played Persona Q two just because I haven't gotten around to it. Right, Persona Q. I can see why nobody wants to play per uh, Persona Q. Cause I mean, eh, it's it's not a bad game. But it's not a good Persona game either, <laughs> right? All the characters revert back to their shitty selves and somehow become even more shittier and then fucking... And then the game just kind of bullshits you a little bit. It's like, what if... It's like, hey man, what if we just made Persona Nocturne for like a quick second, right? Made you want to fucking kill yourself. That final boss was a pain in the ass. We'll be staying here tonight. Persona Q2 is better. Would have been better if it was fully voiced. I hope Persona. I heard Q2 was a lot better, right? Like I'm gonna have to play it on my own time at some point. But having flashbacks to Persona Q, man, it's just—it's hard, right? And to be honest, I didn't even like. I still honestly, I have to finish the P4 story side, even though it's not really important. But I kind of just want to get all the context for things, even though you really, really, really don't need it. Is this really a regular hotel? The fact that you gotta do two playthroughs in that game fucking sucks. You don't have to, but I mean, the fact that there is, it's like, god damn it. A wave of agitation seems to be spreading throughout the group. So, what do you think? It was me who found this place. It just opened not too long ago. It's got that modern look. And the price was right. Personally, I think it was an excellent choice. We're staying here? I mean, the sign says hotel, but... We sleeping in a fuck hotel? It opened recently. Dude, this totally looks like a lot... You there, don't just stand there. Keep Recently. In. Recently, as in like what, fucking three years ago? <laughs> three, four years ago? Yeah, that's right, I remember this place. This is the only thing one of my friends ever remembers about Persona. Isn't there something funny about this place? If I ever say anything about Persona, he instantly goes, like, I'll be like, oh, Persona 4, blah, blah, blah. And he'll be like, oh, isn't that the thing with, like, the shower? And I was like, you keep asking that fucking question all the time, no matter what persona I talk about. 
It's like, no, that was Persona 3. <laughs> Is there? We don't have these modern hotels in Inaba, so I can't tell. The hotel changed names from 3 to 4. Now it's called Seaside. Yeah. I am looking at the sign. I, I was looking at the sign. I was trying to think, like, what it was originally called. But, I don't know, was it... Did it have a name in P3? Or did they just call it by, like, the street it was on? I think they just said, like, oh, we're heading over to blah 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 street, or whatever. And then they're like, isn't that the place with the Love Hotel? Um, this area is called Shirakawa Boulevard, and- Oh, it's... yep, see, there it is. Yeah, that's the street name, Shirakawa Boulevard. That's what I remember. That's all right, Rise. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> Faster than I expected. This is quite the hotel. If they were to meet me, I wonder, what would the look on Yosuke's face be? Uh, uh, who's that? Oh my god, Strago, you're back. Look, up there! <gasps> it can't be. <laughs> Shooby dooby. <laughs> Motherfucker just rolls up, falls on some trash cans, and just walks up. Shooby dooby. What's up, guys? Teddy, what are you doing here? The lonely bear inside of me went stir crazy. Ugh, if only I could detect people in the real world. How'd you get here? Do you have some special ability? Was it ever explained why Persona abilities just stopped working in the real world? Was it because Philemon and fucking Nerleptetept or whatever the fuck his name is, is it because they left? Because I don't think they ever explained that. Eh, I took the train. Atlas tries his best to forget about anything Persona 1 or 2 related. I swore off Topsicles and saved up the money I got working at Juness. I knew where you were going thanks to Yosuke's trip guide. Wait, you saved up all that money by not buying Topsicles? How, how many were you fucking eating, dude? You guys have free time tomorrow, right? No use hiding it. I already know. He said, dog, I saved all this money by not buying any ice cream. Like, that's it? Yup. How in the world did you make it here looking like that? I mean, why wear the bear suit here? I almost got thrown in the trash a couple times. Hmm, not that you know of, Persona. Oh, uh, wait, hold up. <laughs> I had a, I had a fucking hard time reading that for some reason. Not that you know of, Personas are used IRL in some of the spin-offs when... You know what? You, you're kind of right about... Not even just a spin-off, but like a fucking... A full... I keep forgetting this shit exists. Fucking Trinity Soul? The fucking, I think Trinity Soul might be the only Persona thing that might actually be not canon, because if it was not canon, then fucking, um, I mean, if it was canon, then, then anything after that wouldn't make any fucking sense. There's literally a moment in that anime that people forget exists, where, uh, where Akihiko shows up, and he goes, yeah, when you become a certain age, when you're older, you just lose your Persona, and it's like, what? <laughs> When? Why does that happen? If that's the case, then what the fuck was the deal with Persona 2? And what the fuck is the deal with, like, later characters in the in the series? I mean, look at Zenkichi for fuck's sake. Dude's a whole ass man. Out here in some Bloodborne shit. But I kept hanging on to the promise Chie-chan made to go on a date with me. That's what gave me strength to carry on. Uh, you haven't heard of Trinity Soul before? Job, oh. <laughs> Yep, yeah, usually that's the reaction I expect whenever I say it. Yeah, so if you ever seen like promo material like before Persona 5 where they would show they would show um they would show um Yunarakami, uh, Minato from 3 and then they would show like some other dude that kind of looks like Ken a little bit from Persona 3 but like older, I guess. That character I think is the main character from Trinity Soul. And I kid you not, it's a good thing that they forgot about Trinity Soul because it takes place, what, 
10 years after 3? Like, half of the shit doesn't make sense. I couldn't even follow the storyline of that anime. Uh, there's only, like, two things about it that was kind of cool, I guess. Personas look vastly different. Fucking, like, Akihiko lost all his fucking muscle mass for some reason. <laughs> and, like, it is a, it is a slow-ass, like, animated, it has, like, maybe 24 episodes, I want to say? And fucking, like, 15 of them are, like, super slow. It's a bunch of nothing happening, and then, like, something pops off for, like, two episodes, and you go, okay, alright, hold up, something's going on. And then, after that, like, Akihiko just shows up, and he's all like, alright, let's get the animated started now. And by the time I got to that point, I fucking, I honestly don't remember what happens after that. All I remember is they focus more on, like, the Strega shit they did in 3, where they're like, oh yeah, there's people who are losing, um, who are losing control of their personas, there's this group called Monebito, and shit like that. I don't know, dude. Trinity Soul is weird. It's weird. <laughs> did, did I promise that? <laughs> but in Trinity yeah. Soul, they're using their personas in the real world. Saying that I'd go out with you someday. Which is weird because you see Akihiko later and it's like, how come how come you were only able to use your persona in the fucking dark hour? What? What's going on? And it's never explained. Half of the things in that show is never explained. Whee! You remembered Chie Chan? Is it okay with Yuki Chan and Risei Chan too? I think that's why we never see any more characters in persona that lose control of their personas. Like that get attacked by them. Because I think they just, they just realized how bad they fucked up with Trinity Soul. <laughs> Let's all go together then. Is that all right with you? Mm. It's a deal. I've been here before, so I'll show you around tomorrow. I guess we can go shopping first, and I know a great place we can hit later on. Ooh, shopping! That sounds great. <laughs> The other students don't know Port Island that well, so they're just gonna go wherever the school recommends. Yeah, what a bunch of losers. Following a fucking pamphlet. Well, I guess a shopping spree beats a factory tour. Alright, we're in two. <laughs> Leave it to me. Now, before the fun starts, we gotta deal with this guy. Can't you sleep outside for the night? That suit should keep you nice and cozy. Cruelty to animals! You don't know how much trouble I went through to get here! I took the slow train all this way! Do you hear? The slow train! <laughs> My man said not the slow train. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I just saw something pop off in my room. What the hell? <laughs> he was thinking about what you said the other day uh, about the anime being expensive and made you realize that Square is on a completely other level with their Final Fantasy. Oh my fuck, Dude! <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, both a both web anime series and a full link Blu-ray movie. Yeah, Kingsglaive. You want to talk about fucking Final Fantasy money? Oh my god. Listen, I try my best not to talk about Final Fantasy until I get to the point where I'm doing a Final Fantasy marathon, right? But oh my fucking god, the amount of money spent on Final Fantasy 15 and the amount of money spent on it that wasn't even part of the fucking game is ridiculous. Just a bunch of unnecessary shit they did with it. To the point where it's like, did it affect the game? No, not really. Hey guys, we made a real life version of the fucking Regalia. Like, what? Why? And fucking, like, forget about Kingsglaive, right? Forget about that shit for a moment. You wanna talk about Final Fantasy spinning fuck you money for shit? I, like, I guess newer people to the gaming scene or like uh or just movies in general i guess i mean like i guess if you weren't like on the internet in like what 2000 let's say 2006 7 whatever final fantasy the spirits within that movie is historical in the sense of how much how much money was spent on that CG and how how amazing that movie looks and how it holds up till this day in terms of its visual quality. 
but oh my god, that fucking movie sucks, and it's just a big old waste of money, and they didn't even make their money back on that shit. And what's even worse is that that movie is so bad, but when they made fucking, like, when Dona Entertainment fucking made, uh, what was it, the first, um, Life is Strange, there's a moment where if you interact with one of the DVDs in the background, Max goes, oh man, I don't care what people say, but Final Fantasy The Spirits Within is a great movie, and it's like, go fuck yourself, Max. What are you talking about? Don't talk to me. We're not friends. <laughs> now, now, you kids aren't bickering about your room allocations, are you? Oh, crap! Man, fucking... Cage Slave is weird. King Slave is also weird because, well, spoilers for Final Fantasy XV, I guess, but it's like, it's the equivalent of like fucking, f like, 10 9-11s happening at once, and then you get to Final Fantasy XV, and it's like a footnote in the corner of the game. <laughs> it's like, oh, by the way, the uh, your family's dead now, I guess. And then they just kind of brush it off, and it's like, oh, okay, that happened. What's the matter? What's this giant teddy bear? I made it in class today. I'm really good uh, with my hands. You must have some nimble fingers. I forgot she said that. <laughs> I forgot she said that. I was gonna, you know what? I shouldn't have said that joke. All right, now hurry on inside with it. By the way, these rooms are amazing. Every room has a waterbed. Waterbed gotta be like super bad for your back. Says the guy who sleeps on a futon. But, uh, don't flip the wrong switch when you're turning on the lights, or your bed will start spinning. Yeah, they really downplayed that devastation. Anyways, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Like, like, fuck, like... Ah, oh, man, I'm about to spoil the shit out of it. But, like, Final Fantasy XV, fucking Noctis cries over Luna Freya more than he does the fact that his fucking whole entire family is dead. Like, what the fuck, man? Yeah, but I'm exhausted. For so many reasons. He's only- he only ever talked to Luna Freya in person when they were, like, children. <laughs> and then after that, they just became pen pals. Whatever. I don't like Luna Freya. Iris is best girl. In, in any event, you have to do something about Teddy. Teddy's doing his best to act like a stuffed animal. Coming this far might be a oh, shit. Coming this far might be. Te I can't even say the fucking. Maybe Teddy's way of showing how much he genuinely likes you. You sense Teddy's strong trust. It's one of those nights where I can't read for jack shit. Teddy's determination in battle has been enhanced. Teddy can now cure several- uh, Several, god damn it. Mm, severe ailments during battle. I gotta pee. Oh, fuck you, Teddy. Fucking go in the corner, ma'am. Would you like to save your game? No. Yeah, I'm good. We're still technically... <laughs> We've been playing this for like 30 minutes and we should be like, hanging out with Naoto right now, but I'm sitting here talking about Final Fantasy and bullshit. Polonia Mall. Club Escapades. I really wish that this song was longer. I fucking love FES's Whoa. opening. So this is a club. Nothing like this back home. Fuck you doing here, Nata. Permitted for high school students such as yourselves to be here. And you're here because. What? Dude, look who's talking. You were here before we were. That's right. I guess if the first years came on the trip, you'd be here too. The clientele here seems above board, so I don't expect there'll be any problems. Huh? You're leaving? Why don't you join us? Are you... asking me to stay? Now, to why the fuck are you here? <laughs> why are you in a club? Uh-huh. We didn't get to chat last time. Uh, 
I, it's just that I had some matters to attend to that day. Yeah, like being an asshole to those two girls for no reason? Well, you're free now, right? I was really eager to talk to you. I'm curious how someone my age is working as a detective. How about it? Naoto low-key reminds me of that dude from like the second generation of Digimon that like kicked that puppy. <laughs> the guy who's like, what was his Digimon? Like Wormmon or some shit? And then like in the beginning of the series, what was it? What was it called? Digimon Advanced or some shit? The one with Vmon. There's like a moment where it shows him in the real world and like a puppy walks up to him and he just kicks it for no reason. <laughs> Very well. And you hear the puppy insist. off screen just go, ah. It's like, damn it, dude. Huh? What's up? You look a little red. Th that's not true. Wait here. I'll go reserve the area upstairs for us. Where the fuck is Kanji? Okay. Wait, what? Reserve? Yep. Don't worry. I think I can pull some strings. Oh, there he is. Uh, <clears throat> What's wrong, man? Stomach pains? Mm, that ain't it. Rize reserved the second floor and you all made a toast. Are you sure this is alright? Isn't it expensive? No worries. Two years ago, when I had a secret show here, the power went out in the middle of it and the gig was cancelled. I love that they called back to P3 like that. It's like, I wonder what happened? What was that about? Oh, was it, was it a full moon that night? They still owe me from then, so they're willing to put this one on the house. Does she say- wait, hold up. I wasn't like fully paying- she said three years, right? Oh, two years ago. Two years. Oh yeah, no, that would make sense. Yeah, because um, P4 Arena takes place- takes place like like the next summer right is it the next summer after or is it spring break i think it's spring break like the next spring break after okay yeah counting counting the year in p4 right then next year would be technically like four years yeah it was a full night well all of them are on the fucking full moon that was the crux of it well in that case i'm gonna order more I still want to punch the shit out of the asshole that was like, Yo, remember Tartarus from P3? Why don't we do that again in P5? Everyone loved it. Like, you fucking asshole. Woo! I'm not gonna hold back either. Dude, you sound even weirder today. Oh, you're so cold, Kanji. Hmm. Kanji. Kanji. Kanji, I conjecture that something's up. <laughs> That's a great one. Man, you're already in high gear. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Conjecture? <laughs> uh, she's looser than usual, too. Hey, wait a sec. Are these liquor? I told them to give us soft drinks. They're non-alcoholic. Mm. I told them. Really, I did. Oh, <laughs> she starts crying about it. She's like, oh, it's damn it. Hot. Is this seriously booze? <laughs> but the smells. King's game. Times like this, adults play the king's game. It's the law. <laughs> Listen, I'm not one for memes, but Rize has like the perfect keck face going on right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? What's their problem? They make me act like a ditz, call me resent and stuff, then say I'm a kid? As long as they keep making palaces self-destruct, they'll probably keep bringing back mementos for side quests. Like, it's not even like... They could have honestly just had the palaces, but I guess they just wanted... I guess since they did away with Tartarus in P4, they just didn't want you to like have nothing to do in between the palaces, so I guess that's why they threw Mementos. To be honest, Mementos is better than uh than Tartarus, right? To be honest. 
because mainly because the the uh, abilities you get from the confidant help you out a lot, and it's like like. I think it has less floors, less floors than um. It has less floors than Tartarus. Tartarus is like what, 164 floors, I think. It's so obvious. Those rap parties get a lot better after I go home. Also, it's a lot better because you can actually control your fucking party members. Morons! I'm gonna play the king's game now, and ain't no. Wait, it's 264, it's not 164? Oh, fuck, man. Oh. Oh, you're making me not like P3 right now. <laughs> even though even though that's my favorite persona. Yet another side of Risa exposed. I wonder if she knows what she's saying. Man, I mean, listen. No matter how fucky not controlling your characters is it's pretty funny it's pretty funny sometimes when you're just sitting there you're like god damn it <laughs> you start cursing them out you're like mitsuru what the fuck man heal me and then you just look at yukari you're like why do i even bring you here you're dead all the time you're just on the floor kanji get the chopsticks ready what why me the king's word is law! Jump, jump! It's already started? Um, what's this king's game again? Okay. One chopstick makes you the king if you draw it, and the others have numbers on them. Yukiko is a fun drunk. <laughs> the other ones have numbers on them. The king picks the number and says what that person has to do. But who has which number is a secret until the king gives the orders. Man, seeing your <laughs> seeing your characters KO'd on the floor after a battle. They're like, there's a bunch of funny shit with P3. It's like one of them is seeing them like just turning the corner and just watching all three of them fighting the Reaper by themselves. And you're like, oh, <laughs> you're like, oh, no, we're fucked. Or, like, you don't have anything to revive them, and <laughs> Mitsuru is just like, so you're just gonna leave them there? And you're like, yeah? <laughs> and then you come back down to the entrance, they're like, you just left me. You just left me, motherfucker. I'm in a bad mood now. I don't want to go to Tartarus tonight. I feel bad. My condition is fucking poor. Senpai, you're such an adult. You tell him. Honestly, just for shits and giggles, I would love to see the condition system come back again in like Persona 6 or some shit. Just fucking straight up. Like a mix. Just imagine how fucking annoying Morgana would have been if it was like, yo, take your ass to sleep. By the way, I'm not going to Mementos today. I'm tired. <laughs> that shit would be so fucked up. It's like, throw that fucking cat out the window. Yukiko? Where'd you learn this stuff? Uh, you leave the floor when you're KO'd. They get reversed, right? Oh. No, I don't think they get reversed. I don't think it actually affects their social link, but it does per uh, affect their performance the next day. Uh, you know? Sometimes they'll just be like, yeah, I'm not going tonight because I, I got my ass handed to me the other day. I think the only time I ever reversed, like, um... A social link in that game is there's a moment with Yukari's bullshit where you get an option to hug her and if you do that she goes motherfucker get off of me and then her card reverses and you're like oh she's like you thought <laughs> she's like you thought I was the nice girl nah -uh. I'm the bitchiest character around you only like me because I wear this cool ass choker with the fucking heart on it Which stick should you draw? Um, pick the near one. You drew a stick. Number six. Okay, so... Who's the king? Teddy's is red. Red! Is Teddy the king? Uh, we're already doomed from the get-go. I, the king, 
command thee to smooch the king without delay. I love how Persona is like such a niche, well, not anymore, but it was such a niche series, and like this whole entire fucking like scene in this game, they just had nothing but pure fun with it. And then that even translates to the anime where they just go all out and fucking use just like unbuttoning his shirt and just like throwing darts. <laughs> Smoochums. Please, God, grant me a girl. Number three. Ah! Oh, shit. I meant number two. No take backs. Smooch. Smooch. Lock lips. Uh, Kanji, so you were after my fuzzy fur. Okay, but it's my first time. Be gentle. Whoa! Ow! Hey, quit that! Don't make me fly you, damn it! Ah! No! Hey! Help! Man, Kanji and Teddy got really close to this game. First it was the mistake at the beach, and now it's the king's game. Oh Only the first round and two contestants have dropped out already. In the anime, they have a little bit of fun on the love bed. <laughs> huh? Is it that kind of game? <laughs> we'll think about it this way, Yosuke. Our chance has gotten better. I'll take the far one. He drew a stick. His red mark on it. You're the king. You're damn right I am. Who's the king? It's me. Phew. Someone decent. No crazy orders this time. That's what you think, Chie. That's not how it goes. If the last king demanded a smooch, then the next order's gotta be more extreme. Chie, don't be such a party pooper. Yeah, Chie. <laughs> hey! The person who gets picked should have to rest their head on the king's lap. Nah, make him sit on his lap. Oh, or they could have to hug him. Hug him? <laughs> I love the way she delivers that line. They gotta hug him. Better than that, a piggyback ride. Oh, you freaky freaky. Come on, King. Who's gonna do what? Everyone is staring at you. What will your orders be? You know what? I'm just gonna close my eyes. Whatever happens, happens. Not looking. Gonna press a button. Three, two, one. What'd I pick? Oh, thank God. <laughs> I did not want to fuck around with Yosuke. What? Oh, man, you don't know how much I want to trade places with you right now. Jealous much? <laughs> Senpai's lap is so warm. It feels so nice. Rizé is laying there comfortably. the queen so far of my random pickings Rize has won two times Chie has won once and Yukiko hasn't won at all <laughs> you didn't even draw a chopstick all right then let's have someone talk about something really embarrassing that they'd never want to tell anyone hmm let's see Oh, Naoto kun, I choose you! Come on, Naoto, it's your turn. Expose your balls on stream. She's breaking all the rules. Just ignore her, Naoto. No. No, that won't be necessary. One stipulation, though. If I do this, the rest of you must reveal something as well. That's not how the game works. Okay! God damn it, Rize. No particularly embarrassing experiences come to mind. Would discussing my life be fair game? I guess. It's the rare situation like this that gives me call to speak of such things. Damn, way to kill the mood. 
The Shiragane family has been detectives for generations now. We lend our powers to the police from time to time. Your powers? For generations? Wow, it's like that guy from a movie I watched before. What was his name? Kuzu Noha? In days gone by when there were no crime scene investigators, consulting detectives were considered more valuable. Imagine being in fucking Japan and, and being oblivious to who Kuzunoha is, right? That's like sitting there going like, What was that guy's name from like the olden times? Fucking... What was his name? I can't remember. Was it... Was it, uh... Was it Nobunaga? I think it was. Was it? I don't know. Thus, my grandfather still has a strong connection with the police and looks after me, despite my youth and inexperience. But investigators nowadays are well versed in science and medicine, so I must further my studies. Oh, um, it is an older uh, SMT character, right? But I think the name Kuzunoha is also like another person in history. Again, I'm not Japanese, so I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, but yeah, I know Raido Kuzunoha is a thing, right? And, um, an SMT, Nocturne, you fight him. You have a choice of either fighting, uh, you can choose which DLC you want to do. You can either fight Kuzunoha or you can fight, um, Dante. Featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. That sounds tough. I haven't played any of the Raido Kuzunoha games, but I heard they were really, like, fucky. Like, in terms of, like, the story, so, you know. SMT scares me, right? I played a couple of them. I played the first SMT. I played four. I mean, who hasn't played four? It's like the weird one, which is why people like it more. Um, I played four, three recently. Uh, I think there's another SMT game I played. I'm trying to remember. Hmm, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure there's another SMT game I played. I have SMT5. I played a little bit of that, but I haven't, like, finished it. Uh... That's it? No punchline? <sighs> I fear you may be looking to the wrong person for that. That's so embarrassing! Isn't Hotokum embarrassing? <laughs> What the fuck, Yukiko? <laughs> She's like, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> you live with your grandpa, bitch. <laughs> what? I want to go home. Where the fuck is Naoto's parents in the picture? Like, you don't ever hear if they're like dead or not. I don't think they are. <sighs> I'm sleepy. Well then, it's your turn now. Straight answer, please. What is your true involvement with the murder case? That's not a fair trade, Naoto. That's fucked up. You know, you're so good at killing the mood that it's almost funny. Naoto's like, we gotta trade things of equal value. So let me tell you, I'm a detective, my family's a detective, and I live at home with my grandpa. All right, so the murder case. <laughs> what? Well, we go rescuing people who've been kidnapped by jumping into the TV. And then, we do stuff like Persona! With our personas and beat the crap out of shadows. You're a fun drunk, Yukiko. You idiot! Are you making fun of me? I mean, she kind of laughed at your face after your story, so I mean, I guess. It's true! Persona! Jeez, someone put these two drunks to bed already. I see now that you had no intention of telling me the truth. But I'm curious, how did you become so inebriated? This isn't alcohol. <laughs> not his face. He's just like, nah, I'm not dealing with this shit. You guys are fucking imbeciles. Good one, Naoto. No. I confirmed it when I first entered. No alcohol has been served here since a rash of drunk driving last year. Huh? 
Does that mean we're all just drunk off the atmosphere? So does that mean you just walked into the bar to be a fucking narc now, Toe? Is that what you did? Because you seem really out of place here. Like, what are you here to do? Oh, I just came here to make sure they're not serving alcohol. Why? Technically, you don't have any jurisdiction to arrest anybody. I mean, I guess you can call the police. You're a fucking narc, dude. Who cares? It would be funny if Nato was involved in the King's game. Wondering what, the, wondering what would happen. I don't know. Nato likes dodging bullets. <laughs> I feel so good. Good night. Hey, Senpai. How the hell are we going to get back with two passed out drunks? Well, this is giving me a big headache. Is this what a hangover feels like? Teddy's still totally okay. <laughs> Let's keep drinking till morning. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> Fucking Rize. As I said, you haven't been drinking alcohol. Are you a pack of imbeciles? Fucking morons. The last night of the school trip trips on. <laughs> Rize had a lot of fun. Is this the only time that we have this voice actor for Rize? Because I think her voice changes in other games. Which kind of sucks, right? I know her voice in Dancing All Night is like vastly different. Shopping district in front of the station. Hag Hagakura. Fuck. Hagakure. Hagakure. Hagakura. I don't know. Ramen shop. Slurping up some noodles. This place serves the best ramen in town. Hot and dripping wet. When we were filming, a lot of times I came here instead of eating box lunches. Sliding down your throat. Hmm? You're not hungry? Um, <laughs> what happened last night? I don't remember much about it. It's someone new for Ultimax too, right? Yeah. I'm not sure about the anime either, because, uh... Oh shit, it's been a long time since I watched the anime. The anime- the anime is great. Uh, Persona 4 the anime is great. But Persona 4... Golden the anime is weird. Because that one just focuses on Marie, right? But it does have that song that Marie does. What is it called? Dazzling Smile? It's a pretty good song, I like it. Oh, I think the two of us fell asleep quick. I heard it got pretty wild though. I see. I don't remember at all. <laughs> I like Yukiko's like voice line to uh, relieve a lot. Flavor never changes. Like the breath, like the fucking size of relief she takes. She's like, Hah. like every five seconds. I couldn't come here too often because it's high in carbohydrates. So being able to eat as much as I want is like a dream. That was different from fighting, but it could, which could be wrong. I don't, like, it's hard for me to remember the voice acting from Arena and Ultimax because, A, the only voice I remember is fucking Labras because I'm like, yo, she just came straight out of Brooklyn. <laughs> like, for real. Fucking, I hear that New Yorker accent so many goddamn times. It's like, damn, girl, you just heavy on it. Just super thick with it. So, like, I really don't focus on fucking Rize. Was Rize even... I'm trying to think. Okay, wait. Rize was in Arena. Cause, but she wasn't playable until Ultimax. <laughs> she was uh, she was just like a shadow. The actual Rize wasn't even there in Arena. She didn't even show up until Ultimax. Because she was uh, on the train. Ooh, this is delicious. It has an interesting taste that makes you hungry for more. See? See? Another bowl, please. Keep the noodles hard. You're a freak, Teddy. Eating hard noodles, dog. Um, I'll have the hug of curry bowl. Yeah, I'll have the hug of curry bowl. The hug of curry bowl's a normal menu item now? Oh, I should have asked. Oh, well, this is just as good. Hey, is it okay for you to be out in the open like this? Sure, no problem. 
See those signing boards? My autograph's up there too, but the cook doesn't give me a second glance. That's just how it is over here. Plus, I'm barely wearing any makeup. <laughs> That's just how it is in the city. It doesn't matter if you're a celebrity. Nobody gives a fuck. They're just like, I got shit to do, man. I got time to fuck around with you. I'll see you on TV. Oh, you're right. There's a lot of autographs on display. Teddy with the fucking slide of hand. I saw that. You know what I think? The reason they don't notice you is because this bear sticks out like a sore thumb. I guess if he wore that over here, he'll have to go home wearing it. Isn't it all steamy inside from the ramen? Huh? Where's my bowl? She was on the training arena. He thought she was locked in the announcement room with Shadow Teddy. No, uh, I think that was the thing that, that like, um, like, there's Shadow Teddy, and then fucking the, um, the Rize that was with him was also a shadow. And, like, the real Rize wasn't there because she was on the train heading to, um, heading to Yasugami. Yasugami. Inaba, my bad. Heading to Inaba, and it wasn't until Ultimax, because Ultimax takes place a week later or something? Or, like, the next day or some bullshit? Right? I think it takes place, like, maybe two days later or something like that. And then they're like, oh, man. And it shows, like, Rize fucking... Everything's going down, and she's not even with the guys yet, and that's why she has, like, this whole confrontation with the... With Elizabeth, because she's like, I heard my friends are getting fucked, and I can't do nothing about it. And Elizabeth's like, well, because it's a fighting game, let's just do some bibbity bobbity boo until the clock strikes 12 tonight. Here, you got a battle persona now. You didn't eat it, did you? You didn't finish, so... <laughs> I was going to finish it! My man literally took the food out of her fucking mouth. <laughs> Hey, didn't you just order more a second ago? How many have you eaten? I don't know how to count. <laughs> you little liar. Give me that check. You said Let's I can't see. count. One, two, ten bowls? Yuki-chan's makes it eleven. I was going to finish mine. Aw, sad Yuki. They were there. I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's close to the meeting time. Oh, already? I thought the trip was going to be a bore, but now that it's over, I actually had a good time. Yeah, it is the next day, which is pretty crazy. It's hard to think it's the next day because it's like at the end of Arena, fucking Mitsuru and Akihiko and I guess go, all right, uh, you guys, thanks for the help, but don't help us anymore because you're just kids, says the fucking people who did the whole says the people who recruited a fucking nine-year-old but whatever <laughs> right they're like don't do it no more you're just kids we'll just come back with some reinforcements and they just get them the next day <laughs> jesus hey let's buy a souvenir at the station i bet nanako-chan will be expecting and then one. junpei shows up and he's like i got combos that are like perfect by two frames make sure you hit those timings fucking asshole uh, I'll get her a lamp. All right, let's get going. Come on, Teddy, we're leaving. Yo, hey, Ted. Don't make me rub your fur the wrong way, you little. Hey. Rubbing fur? D dude, hey, he ain't moving. I is he hibernating? Hey. Don't, don't, don't tell me. It's not because he's been in our world too long, is it? <laughs> Wish they made Junpei a real baseball player and not a little league coach. I know, right? Uh. <laughs> I mean, eh, at least... I, I say at least because I'm pretty sure, um, I'm pretty sure me Suru at least is like giving him some sort of like kickback checks or something like that. Like, you know, something, you know. The Carijo group probably giving him a little bit of a little bit of checks to make sure he doesn't die in the streets or something. So I don't think he like lives in a shitty apartment or anything like that. But I wish they I wish they at least showed Chidori a little bit, right? Cause he only mentions her name and it's like, so what happened with that, right? <laughs> My 
my tummy, heavy. Leave it behind. Oh. I ate too much. Can't move. Someone carry me. I mustn't be late for our rendezvous. Please excuse me. For our fucking rendezvous. Okay, Naoto. Oh, Yukiko, wait for me. <laughs> she really, Yukiko is really pissed. She's like, leave that motherfucker. I'm gone. <laughs> Uh, he's got the skills above most people. They could have made him the best baseball player like Yamcha in Dragon Ball. Junpei is fucking... I mean, of course he has better skills than the average person, I guess, because <laughs> that stamina you gotta have to be climbing Tartarus, right? But also... I mean, funny thing about Dragon Ball, fucking... The moment Dragon Ball Fighters came out, well, the beta, I guess, and Gotenks was a playable character, and I was like, let me see what he can do, and I saw Gotenks doing that spin shit, I was like, oh, oh, so, so they just, they just made Gotenks Junpei without the frame-perfect baseball shit, <laughs> without the victory cry buff, right? Just spinning around. Farewell, Teddy. We shall leave you here, along with our memories of youth. Let's just be happy that they didn't say that Koromaru was dead <laughs> in Ultimax. Uh, all these days of school trip, uh, all the days of the school trip has passed by safely. I love how I spend like an hour getting through a scene that should have been like maybe 30 minutes. <laughs> Welcome Did home, Nanako. I had a great time. You should come with me next time. Yep, for sure. Um, I want to go to Destiny Sea too. There's this roller coaster that goes whoosh into the water, and and then it drowns you. <laughs> you remember that you bought a souvenir for Nanako. Here you go. Natko seems to really like the Iwatodai lamp. You like the oh, weirdest thing, Natko. Oh, you're back. We just missed each other, huh? Look, my big bro got me a souvenir. Hey, nice. Did you remember to thank him? Of course. Of course, of course, you silly horse. Huh. I guess that came out of your own pocket. Thanks. What the fuck is that supposed to mean, Dojima? You went to Tatsumi Port Island, yeah? <laughs> I guess the city was no big deal for a guy like you. So, huh? I guess, I guess my nephew that's been taking nightly jobs does have money. Like what? By the way, if the first years went along with you, Naoto Shirogane must have been there too. Yeah. Did you talk to him much? I mean. We're like the only people he ever talks to, so I guess, yeah. He's mature for his age, but he's still a year younger than you. Try to make friends with him, will you? He's a cocky brat, but he's honest. The higher-ups are losing their patience with him. It doesn't matter if his argument holds water or not. At this rate, he won't accomplish anything but getting himself booted off the team. Adults can be a selfish bunch. Tojima has a kind look in his eye. Oh, sorry. You must be tired. A little bit. Why don't you take a bath? Oh, but don't forget to take your stuff upstairs. Nanako, can you get the bath ready? The school trip is over and it's a peaceful Sunday morning. Nothing not happened while you were away. What should you do today? I don't know. You realize that you haven't bought anything. Oh, shit. What do we got? What do you got for me, Tanaka? Claws? Mmm, Inaba Trout. I guess I'll get the claws, yeah. Had to think about it for a quick second.
All right, thanks, Tanaka. You fucking shady ass, dude. Go out till the evening? Fuck yeah. All right. Got a couple days until the story progresses, so let's, uh... Let's get some things going, I guess. Um... First things first, central, uh, central, oh fuck, I can't even speak. Central shopping district. Hey Jay, how's it going? I don't have a peach seed for some reason, so I'm gonna have to come back to this guy later. Uh, make a deal. I'm gonna have to come back to that guy later. Yeah, because I'm gonna need to, um, do another quest with him. In the meantime... Let's start preparing for the next dungeon a little bit. So, weapon. Team I'm gonna take with me is Kanji, for reasons. <laughs> Reduce fire damage, okay. We're gonna take Kanji. Uh, Chie. I guess this is the last time I'm really gonna use Chie. Give him that Bishi Mountain. The War God. Um, and I'm gonna take Yukiko with me. There's really no reason to get her fan, because she's not really gonna be attacking with it that much, honestly. And I have my baseball bat? Yeah, I have my baseball bat. Alright. Armor. Kanji. You're gonna need it. Night scale. What does that do? Okay, let me actually see what I have for armor right now. Like, actually on my person. Uh, equip. Chie, what do we got? Plus five magic. Plus five endurance. You're gonna need that. You fucking glass cannon. Okay. Kanji. Oh shit, I got nothing for you, Kanji. Okay. Kanji. Let's see, is there something else I can give you? Not really. So, Night Scale. <sighs> 142? Eh, I'm looking at the- I'm looking at that invasion, right? I'm like... Eh, <laughs> right? Shit. Eight? Really? Damn it. We do have some chest keys with us, so... Let's hope that maybe we can get something better. What about... For me, what do I... What am I wearing? Paladin armor. 166, 4 evasion. Okay. Alright. Uh, accessories. What do we got? I'm using the paper band, that's cool. Chie, what do you got going for you? Ice suppressor? Eh. Fire Vow. For Yukiko, increases her damage. Is there anything else for Yukiko that we can use? It reduces chance of rage, magic increase. Okay, nothing crazy. Uh, Kanji, what do you got? Lowers the enemy's chance of having preemptive strikes. Alright. I'll, I'll just deal with all that shit later. <sighs> Marie, hang out with me. Is there anything else I have to do? Right now it's not a school day, so I can't do the uh, fox quest. Marie, hang out with me. You came. Are you busy? Make some time. You're supposed to. I want to make memories with you. Seems Marie wants to go outside. You're already outside. <laughs> Feel your relationship with Marie will deepen. Spend the day with her? Let's go. Let's finish this fucking social link. Let's get out the way. I want to see your room today, is that okay? You decided to take Marie to your room. Bow chicka wow wow. Your room? You brought Marie to your room. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Yes? Marie's looking around your room. Stop fucking snooping around, what are you doing? Is there something that you don't want me to see? Yes. I hate that kind of stuff. I'm gonna find out everything about you. 
Yes, ma'am. Marie seems to be enjoying herself. Okay. I now have another memory. A new memory that doesn't have anything to do with the old me. It really does make me happy. I can't tell if it's like supposed to be like lighting or something on her character portrait like if it's supposed to be like the light shining on her or something or if she just has highlights i can't tell well i call them i call them highlights but you know like fucking diet tips look i couldn't remember anything i was fretting anxious i took it out on you i'm sorry Oh, that's okay, Marie. You're only I'm woman. Okay now. <laughs> that's the most sexist thing to ever say. Let's make lots of memories. Memories so fun, I won't care about the past anymore. Lots of memories won't do it. <laughs> that's not enough? Then I'll let you figure out what to do. So, you'd better lead the way. Marie smiles devilishly. Oh, shit. Here. I don't need to worry anymore, so I'm giving this to you. You obtained the old bamboo comb. Finding my memories, making new ones. Either way, I'll be with you, right? So, I want you to have this. You can sense Marie's passionate love. <sighs> well, Marie's out the way now. Something I don't have to worry about no more. <laughs> and now we can just ignore her whenever we see her. <laughs> She's like, hey, wanna hang out today? Nope. You know, Arakami has forged a bond that cannot be broken. You can now fuse Kaguya, which is very, very symbolic for her. With the bamboo. And the whole forgetting your memories and shit. Her story is reminiscent of Kaguya, the fucking moon bitch. <laughs> the girl People that came from the moon tribe. See and believe what they want to believe. But I know you're different. No matter how thick the fog is, even if you're misguided by lies and illusions, I know you can find the truth. I'm cheering for you. So, what do we do? Fuck like rabbits. You're gonna make new memories with me, right? Consensually, of course. Legally, of course. Memories of the two of us. You and Marie spent a long time together. Welcome back. I'm shopping today. The fridge is full of food. I will never get to use that food. Talk to me, Dojima. Hey! What's wrong? You bored? I feel your relationship with Dojima won't get closer yet. Eh, it doesn't matter. I gotta do it anyways. We got like, what, two months left? Until my time limit for Dojima's up, so... Gotta start doing that. I hope you all enjoyed the school trip. Do you all feel just a bit more mature now that you visit the urban area like that? Oh, by the way, the cute bear that Yukun had on the trip, it was really adorable. I get so tempted by animals with such unique designs. Speaking of bears, their friends, the pandas, are also really cute. Do you know what they used to be called in, Jap in Japanese? They were called black and white bears and divided colored. wait what? And divided color bears, a perfect description of how they looked. The mixed colors, so exotic, yet so delightful. You need to do some exotic things to become adults anyways. <laughs> I didn't like that. You listen to the lecture intently. I don't want to listen to that intently. My knowledge went up. Bitch, I'm a sage. I'm already knowledgeable. I'm perfect. Alright. So, first things first, head to the rooftop. 
I fucked up talking to this girl before I asked her if she wanted to be my friend. You gotta say, you need help speaking. What? Where'd you hear that? Oh, it's not like I'm worried about it. Leave me alone. She quit work. Quit? Wow. Uh, she's quite worried about her speech and defensive about it as well. I'll give you some lessons. With your current expression, you can speak with enough to teach others. You offer to teach her. Conversation lessons? I don't need them. Leave me alone. But if you really want to teach someone, then maybe I'll listen to you for a while, just to be nice. You gave her some tips on how to converse with other people. You should have told me this earlier. Oh, um, that's not right. It would have been most desirable. Fuck, I already fucked it up. It would have been most desirable if you would have imparted this wisdom at much earlier occasion. What? Like that? Um, thank you. I hope you can teach me again. Bye. The awkward girl ran away. Maybe you should talk to her again next time you see her. It's giving me, uh... It's giving me, uh... Flashbacks. Of, um... What's that fucking show called? Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, what is it called? About the girl in high school who's like, fucking, just weird? <laughs> Watamote. That's what it's called. It's giving me flashbacks to that. I never finished watching Watamote, it was just... Every episode felt like a fucking hour. <laughs> it was like, god damn it. That's only been 20 minutes? No matter where I look, I see girls. Girls and more girls. School is heaven. There's a certain freshness you don't see at Junez. Every day is, every day is great indeed. By the way, between sailor uniforms and blazers, which is more your speed? <laughs> I'm more into boys' uniforms, eh? Hey. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, if I'm being honest, see a woman wearing a tuxedo? Oh my god. Sailor uniforms or blazers? I guess blazers, right? A young girl draped in mature clothing, walking, walking by with the coolest of expressions. You got your own taste after all, Sensei. I'm touched. Man, uniforms are awesome. What are you doing here? Oh, the boy's here again. He must really want to see me. A younger boy? Hmm? He's definitely out of my league, though. Still, he's trying so hard that I almost feel sorry for him. Run, Teddy. Run like the wind. Alright. Kanji. Rize, I gotta hang out with you two. Rize is not available. Kanji. Are you available? Of course not. Of course not. I guess, uh... Fucking I's not even here either. God damn it. I guess, uh... Naoki. Sure. Oh, you son. Is there something you want? You recall that you borrowed a handkerchief from him. Will you return it? No, it's mine. Oh, this is... This is a loading screen. You could have just thrown that away. This was my sister's handkerchief. My mom put it in my bag by mistake. Listen. Listen. Naoki, you're cool in my book, right? But again, whoever gave you that hair design just fucked you from the beginning. I'm sorry. It's just, it just don't look right. It's moving by itself. You don't even got a widow's peak. You got like, you got something entirely different. Your fucking head is on a fucking rotation of its own. I don't get it. Yearly rotation. <laughs> No one ever uses it anymore, so I'm sure the handkerchief is glad to have been able to fulfill its duty. Thank you. You know what? You know what Naoki is? One look at him, he reminds me of the character designs from Kolioko. Hmm. Nah, no, man, thank you. No, it's okay. Oh, I'm Naoki Konishi. Um. I apologize for saying I hated you when I first met you. Eh, <laughs> didn't bother me. Thank God. 
Naoki looks relieved. You become acquaintances with Saki Konishi's younger brother, Naoki Konishi. Naoki is struggling to cope with his complicated situation. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Naoki. My sister's dead! Wanna be friends? Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, I like Naoki. Naoki's cool. Last time when I came to that meeting, I made everyone uneasy, right? After that, I was officially fired from the associate. Wait, what? <laughs> they told me not to come to the meetings anymore. What? They say, you know what? Your sister's dead. We were talking shit behind your back. You heard it. I mean, might as well just give it to you straight. Don't, don't, don't ever fucking show up again. Well, it's my own fault. Left behind again. If it's okay with you, maybe we can have fun together. I'm usually by our liquor store at the beginning of the week. I'm helping out there. Well, I'll be going. Goodbye. You parted ways with Naoki and went home. I do like the little moment they gave Naoki in, like, the anime. Good evening, and welcome to Nightline's special Nightwatch Report. A suspect in the murders in Inaba was safely arrested recently, but what few people know is that the mastermind who brought him to justice was a high school detective. The portrait for fucking Naoto and the announcer is like night and day, dude. Tonight's report will focus on this detective prince, Naoto Shirogane, whose handsome looks are sweeping the nation. Thanks for being on the show. No, no. The pleasure is all mine. Naoto's on TV. Oh, his uniform's the same as yours. First, congratulations to you and the police for your recent arrest of the culprit. It was well known that there were a lot of mysteries surrounding this case, and you did a great job clearing them up. I'd hesitate to say that the matter is cleared up as such. It's true that our suspect was behind Mr. Moraoka's unfortunate death, but when I cast my eye over the case as a whole, I detect a few things that seem out of place. Oh? Like what? Unfortunately, I cannot divulge details at this time, but this matter claimed the lives of three people. Hence, I believe even the smallest inconsistency must be investigated. I... I see. I have to say, this is a surprise in light of the police's official statement. <laughs> what the fuck is with the announcer? He said, oh, I see. Alright. <laughs> Why is a fucking murderer out there? Now for our next segment, The Detective Prince's True Identity, where Naoto-kun tells us a little bit about himself. Amazingly, The Detective Prince has solved a whopping 24 cases. 16 of them were... There's a detective at your school? Yeah. Well, when I'm older, I'm gonna go to your school too. I mean, you live in the countryside, so you got no choice. The breezy evening passes. What's up, Rize? Yo! Hey, did you see the show on TV last night? Now Dokun was on! That thing about the detective prince solving the case? Come on, we're the ones who actually caught the killer! But the police were the ones who identified the suspect, and he was cooperating with them on it, right? So it's true that he helped solve the case. I'm kinda surprised, though. I didn't think he was the type to go after the spotlight like that. Good morning. Talking shit about me? <laughs> I've been waiting for you all. There's something I needed to discuss with you regarding the case. Damn, now toe with the drip? Discuss? Dude, we'll be late if we talk too long. Hey, where's your uniform? Speaking about Naoto's outfit, I remember when I first played Persona 4, I was talking to somebody about it and they were playing it with me. And they were like, they're like, Naoto's whatever, but man, that fucking hat looks stupid. And I was like, aw, you making fun of Naoto's hat for? It's a cool hat. Could you please indulge my current theory on the matter? What is it? First, as regards commonalities between the victims, 
all of them were kidnapped before they were murdered. The victims were all locals who had been the focus of recent media attention, becoming suddenly well-known. That is the most likely scenario. I don't believe there's anything intrinsically unique about the victims themselves. Haven't you all come to the same conclusion? I mean, sure, yeah. Then allow me to state my point. Yeah. Will you admit that a number of you fit these identical circumstances? Calling us a bunch of nobodies? There was a long interval between the second and third deaths in this case. But after I applied the aforementioned criteria, I discovered several similar disappearances had taken place. Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Risei Kujikawa. All of you disappeared shortly after being shown on TV. Either you escaped death somehow, or you faked your own disappearances in order to divert attention from yourselves. You know, the fact that Naoto's like the only person that puts this together, it's like, man, Inuba must be full of fucking stupid ass people. <laughs> Since some of you had ties to the victims, there came a point where I suspected one of you must be the culprit. Maybe you're the culprit. You thought one of us was the killer? Oh, you can't be serious. This was a prior theory, since discarded. Putting together everything I've learned until this moment, I believe exactly the opposite. You aren't the culprits. You may, in fact, be the only ones with the means to pursue the true perpetrator. What gives you that idea? Seen as a joining of forces between the rescued, everything falls into place. Of course, this is all speculation. Well, what if I speculated my foot up your ass? There is, in fact, a flaw in the theory. It doesn't account for the third incident, Mr. Moraoka's murder. He has never been broadcast on television, and neither did he ever disappear. We must also consider the condition of his corpse. The first two victims are still listed with an unknown cause of death. But Mr. Moraoka died of an easily identifiable blunt force trauma to the occipital cranium. You know, you just said forehead or, or fucking back of the dome or something. You ain't gotta fucking do all that. The police have not satisfactorily resolved this discrepancy, yet they are desperate to close the case. Further action will be necessary to obtain some sort of decisive evidence. Further action? What do you mean? Well, whatever the outcome, the evidence should come to light. You said something interesting to me not long ago. Hey, where are you going? This is not a game for me either. Naotokun? All right, well that just happened. Lunch time. Hey, Naoki, what's up? You got some free time today? Well, if you do, if you like hanging out, I'll be around a liquor store. I heard liquor. <laughs> All right, now to didn't come to school. That's cool. Head to the rooftop. Oh, the awkward girl is teary-eyed. Your lessons didn't work. I just tried starting up a cheerful conversation with a girl in my class, but I got all nervous of sudden, all of a sudden, and said something I wasn't even thinking. Move aside, ugly. I'm coming through. Oh God. Oh my stars. <laughs> what should I do? She just started crying. Well, that's not my fault. How's that my fault? First, like, you wanted to say hi, and then you ended up going like, move, bitch. <laughs> Get out the way. <laughs> Fuck out the way. Current courage allows you to give a passionate speech about courage. You instructed her about the social importance of having the courage to apologize for your mistakes, something that today's society lacks very heavily. Nowadays, we all just argue on social media. You're right. I'll apologize to her. Hurting others without apologizing is selfish and cowardly. You hear that, children? You fucking cowards. I'll go apologize. Maybe after I do, I can try and have a real conversation with her. Like a fucking human being. 
I can't keep using my bad conversation skills as, a, as an excuse. I'll do my best. The awkward girl appears to have broken through the fear that was stunt that was fuck that was stunting her social growth. Your accomplishment. Fuck, I can't even read no more. You're you've accomplished the requested requested the request on the Emma. All right, cool. Thanks, girl. So now when it rains, we can head over to the fox and hand that in. Uh, floor two. No, not the second floor. Fuck, why did I go there? I'm going to hit the floor one. Bye, Yumi. All right. Rize is not available. Kanji. Kanji is not available. All right. Are those two fucking avoiding me or some shit? Uh... Eye's not even here either. Um... Is Ko available? It's been a while since I did anything with Ko. Daisuke's here. Wait. What are you doing, Teddy? As soon as I enter the school grounds, all eyes are on me. I have a monopoly on their love. What a wicked bear I am. Oh, the boy's here again. He must really want to see me. Oh, okay, she says the same shit. Alright. Uh huh. Yo, you. I don't see Ko, but you got practice today, right? Oh, I got a persona for strength? Alright, why not? I'm not doing anything. Get my diligence up a little bit. You attended basketball practice. Diligence has increased. Ko isn't here. Perhaps something urgent came up. Man, I'm beat. Let's call it a day. He also got me high shoe lockers. Ko's shoes are still in his box. Seems he's still at school. You decided to go look for him. He also got me high rooftop. You see Ko. Ko, what the fuck are you doing? Hey, practice over already? You good, man? <sighs> That's nothing. No, I can't lie to you. There is something. Nothing big, though. It seems Ko is trying to find the right words. I don't know if I like basketball anymore. <gasps> Blasphemy. But ball is life. It's not my family. I got their blessing. They told me I can do whatever I want. It's funny. They were also dead set against me playing ball, and now I can do anything. So I shot a few hoops this morning, but I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling anything. It wasn't fun. It wasn't boring. It was just... nothing. Ko looks up at the sky. I've been here since class got out. Then I heard all the sports teams starting the practice, and I wondered why does everyone look like they're having so much fun? I feel so distant. Oh, <laughs> bird. Birds have the life, man. They can fly as high as they want. But me? I'm feeling like I've sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Eh. Let's go do something fun. How about that? Maybe we should go to one of those group blind date things. What do you think? <laughs> Chicks totally dig guys who are all chilled out and intellectual, right? <laughs> Since when? Since when? Come on, man. Use your brain, Co. Co smiles ironically. How the fuck do you smile ironically? Okay, whatever. <laughs> How the fuck? What? Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I'll be at the next practice, so don't worry. Thanks, man. Did you come up here just to find me? Thanks, dude. Co grins. You feel your relationship with Co has grown deeper. Sure thing, bud. Anytime. And by any time, I mean only when I don't have time to hang out with the other guys. I think I'll stay up here a little bit longer. 
I got some relatives coming over tonight, but I'm still not ready to meet them. I'm pretty good at putting up a facade, but it gets old sometimes. Now just put that, now take that facade, play a video game, and slap your face on the corner of the screen and call yourself a Let's Player. <laughs> Speaking fucking truths right now. Sorry man, I just needed a little space right now. Eh, it's alright, Ko. You decide to leave Ko staring at the sky and you go home. Man, Ko, you're sad. You're a sad person. Why are you so sad? <laughs> what? Oh, welcome home, big bro. I'm depressed now. <laughs> it's gonna rain tomorrow. Oh, that's why you're sad. I was like, what the fuck happened? Hey. What's wrong, you bored? Eh, kind of. It won't become closer yet? What the fuck, man? What do I gotta do, Dojima? Uh. The fuck you want me to do, Dojima? What is he at? He's at rank six. You overheard students talking. Hey, did you see the show on TV? The one about the detective prince secret identity? Natakun is so cool. Yeah, he really does have it going on, doesn't he? He's really young to be a detective, too. He's cute, but he has this aura of mystery about him. That's cool, too. You think he'll be at school today? Class has ended. Alright, cool. Uh, we can hand in the, uh, fox shit, so I'm gonna go do that right now. We can eat at the rainy... At the rainy special bowl, whatever the fuck. Actually, you know what I gotta do? I gotta, um... I gotta... what you call it? I gotta ride the scooter. I gotta do that. Unlock those places. Come on out, Fox. Comes out and it's fucking Fox from Melee. It just starts screaming at you. Ha ha ha, Toya! Come on! Mission complete! <laughs> Whatever, Fox, give me my fucking discount. That's all I'm doing it for. Rank 7, oh shit. Since your relationship with the Fox has grown, you now get a discount. Nice. Alright. We gotta remember to uh, pick up the, um, the request for the Fox tomorrow. There's delivery for me. Thank you, Nanako. I'm gonna go upstairs now. It's raining. Huh. Oh, Midnight Channel. Okay. I didn't think we were doing the Midnight Channel tonight. I thought we were doing it the next night, but okay. A silhouette has appeared. What the fuck? Why'd I say it like that? A silhouette. <laughs> a silhouette has appeared. The image is hazy. You can't tell who it is. But you feel like you've seen that person somewhere before. Did you see that? Someone came on, right? Now that the killer's been caught, do we still gotta worry about the Midnight Channel? Oh no, Yosuke, do we still have to worry about the Midnight Channel? What the fuck do you think? But then, someone said the blurry image seemed like an advance notice. What exactly is the Midnight Channel anyway? Did it have anything to do with the murders? Ugh, this is so frustrating. Hey, what do you think? Did you recognize who appeared just now? Uh, uh, I think it's Naoto. Was that now too? Might have been now too. Why would he show up on TV? I don't know, but I know that fucking hat anywhere. Now that you mention it, I wonder what he thinks about the Midnight Channel. I don't get this at all. It's gonna keep nagging at me, I can tell. 
I'm sure the others saw it too, so let's get together tomorrow and talk about it. Night. Yosuke hung up. So, about the Midnight Channel last night. I wonder who that was. I talked to Teddy and he says no one's entered the other side. Well, yeah, the killer's been caught. Yeah. Huh? What's up? You okay, Kanji? Come on, get with the program. You saw the TV last night, right? So? It's got nothing to do with us. The killer's behind bars, man. You guys are overreacting. Shit that shit Naoto said didn't make any sense either. So there's no use getting all worked up about it. Huh? Naoto-kun? Uh, no, well, how do I put it? What, were you out of it because you were still thinking about what Naoto said? <laughs> so you're still hung up on all that stuff. That's... I ain't hung up on it. It's okay, we all understand. Just don't go overboard, man. You little... I said that's not it. Fuck a asshole. God damn it, Yosuke. I got stuff to do. I'm out of here. Stop bringing that up, Yosuke. You know he doesn't think it's funny. Oh, what? What? Did something happen between Kanji and Naoto-kun? Jesus. Well, that aside, is it me or does the town seem kind of strange lately? Everyone is in high spirits for some reason, and they all talk about other people, but never themselves. Oh, so you mean it's like Twitter? Really? I don't think it's anything special. Now that the murder case is solved, people feel relaxed, that's all. That's how society is. They all just want to get in on the latest trend. I'm not going to comment on that. <laughs> I was going to say something. People get excited fast and lose interest even faster. It goes round and round. And there's no underlying reason for it. I don't know. It still seems a little too weird. It's like they're all afraid of something. Maybe afraid of you fucking stabbing them in a dark alley, Yukiko, because you're all fucked up. Oh, sorry. I just had this feeling. Huh. It's gonna rain again tonight. We should check the Midnight Channel just in case. Welcome back. Uh... I don't know, guess I'll just go stare at my TV like a psychopath. Ah, shit. Midnight Channel came on as bright as fuck, though. It's an extremely clear image. Is it just me, or whenever I hear the word genome, I instantly just think of the Proud Family movie? Where Dr. Carver's just like, I call them my genome soldiers. <laughs> my little peanut heads. You shall witness my departure into a new realm. The moment of a new birth. From the chosen day forth, I shall walk a completely different path in life. And I will share this glorious occasion, this memorable day with all of you. Do stay tuned. Viewer beware, you're in for a scare. That was definitely Nato. Looks like it, you buddy. Said people only show up clearly on TV once they're thrown into that other world, right? The hell's going on? I thought we caught the damn killer. Well, obviously, <gasps> we didn't. Kanji's completely flustered. Let's discuss it tomorrow. 
You're right, you're right. Sorry, I called out of the blue. No, no, it's justified. Being a detective, solving cases, it ain't worth shit if he gets himself kidnapped. Damn, that idiot pisses me off. Anyways, let's get the gang together and meet first thing after school. You decided to go to bed early. What the fuck does that mean? Wait. <laughs> It's the Midnight Channel. It only shows up at midnight on rainy nights. By the way, you decided to go to bed early. The fuck? <laughs> make that make sense. It's been raining for a few days, but I heard it'll finally. Oh fuck! I can't read. It. I heard it'll. <clears throat> I heard it's finally supposed to clear up this afternoon. Really? Then I don't have to cancel my plans. You know that's there as a holiday next week, right? I promised my girlfriend we go to Okinawa together. Not Okinawa, what the fuck? Uh, Okina. I was worried that it might rain that day. What? If that's the case, then I hope it never stops raining. Rain like a waterfall so his date gets cancelled. Why? <laughs> why you out, why you out here plotting on his downfall? Last night on TV, that was Naoto Kun for sure. What's the verdict, Teddy? Is he really in there? I do smell someone. It's just like before. Nothing's changed. Like before. Of course. That's why no token appeared on the news so suddenly. He said something didn't seem right and that he wasn't convinced. He also believed that the people who are kidnapped appear on TV first, remember? Wait, you're saying he's using himself as bait? I just fucking realized, like, besides the main character, this, like, this far into the game, the smartest person on your team has been Yukiko. <laughs> it's like, oh shit. We came to the same conclusion he did, about how people who become famous through TV would disappear. Like, Yosuke has a lot of common sense, but he's just unfortunately stupid. Chie's an idiot, Kanji's a fucking moron, Teddy, I don't even know what the hell he is, and Rize is an airhead. Could he be trying to prove the theory by using himself? You mean he got kidnapped on purpose? That's crazy! He could be killed! He said, this is not a game for me either. It's all my fault. I'm the one that said that to him. Idiot! Why the hell did he just tell us? He knew we'd stop him if he did. Instead, he left us clues so we could figure it out and... I know! That son of a... But, but what about the killer the police are holding now? Mitsuo did kill King Moron, right? Yeah, that's all he did. I get it now. I remember Naotoken mentioning this. He said it was strange that the police were able to identify the cause of Mr. Moraoka's death. Then is King Moron the only one Mitsuo killed? That'd explain why there were no signs of King Moron being thrown into the TV. The killer didn't change his methods for King Moron. It just seemed that way because it was done by someone else. Then whoever kidnapped Naoto-kun, that's the real killer? But, but wait a sec. Didn't Mitsuo say he was the one behind it all? Why would he take the blame for someone else's crime? Isn't that weird? And they said on the news that the culprit confessed to the other murders too. There's also something else that's been bothering me, but, um... To hell with someone who's behind bars! If we don't get off our asses, that stupid Naoto's gonna die in there! We gotta go find him! Someone's definitely in here, and the world seems to have grown larger. That's amazing, Risei-chan. There's no way my nose can pick up that much. Shall I give you a massage? Don't bother her. It's the same as last time. I know he's here, but I can't tell where. Why don't... wait. What? <laughs> wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. Rizé's like, oh man, I. It, it's kind of the same as last time. The world has grown larger somehow. 
I know Naoto's here, but I don't... I don't know where he is, but... There seems to be a new addition to the world. Maybe common sense would dictate that we head in that direction. I need something that'll help me understand him. I need some clues. Without that, I have no idea which way we should look. I need something to help me understand Naoto, except for the fact that Naoto gave us his complete fucking life story at the bar. Quote unquote bar. Damn at the club. It. There's too much we don't know about that kid. But if we don't do something, he's gonna. <laughs> Naoto gave you his whole life story. What? Hey, snap out of it. This is just like all the other times. Let's not panic. Keep an eye on the weather and do this like always. Naoto is we'll also a public no figure. They can just easily go on the internet and just be like, uh huh, yep, okay. First, we need to look for something that'll help us locate him. I, I know. I, I wasn't panicking. We know he's over here. So all we gotta do is get him out. I'm sorry I couldn't find him. Worthless. All I need is some kind of hint to help me understand him better. Then I could find him for sure. It seems you need more information on Naoto. It's almost like, at least I can understand with Teddy a little bit because he's not using like a scanner in his mind or whatever, right? But with Rize, it's like, come on, girl, what are you doing? All right, time to do the fucking most annoying part of the game. And that is getting information for this bullshit. So, first things first. We're over the Simagawa. We gotta find, um, Yosuke, I think, right? Yosuke. Boom. Dude, I still can't believe Nanto had the balls to get himself kidnapped. Jeez. Anyways, you're the best at gathering info, so I'm counting on you. First, we'll ask people who knew him. Let's go right down the list. Oh shit. Was it not Yosuke we need to talk to? Oh fuck. Maybe it was Chie. Maybe it was Chie. I think it might have been Chie. Chie, talk to me. You don't think he fell in on purpose, do you? He couldn't have, right? But then, who's the killer? For now, we'll just look for someone who knew more about Naoto. Fucking... Who do I tell- Oh wait, no! My bad. I'm getting ahead of myself. That's what's happening. Keep forgetting. Gotta head to the school. Head to the school and talk to... Someone in the practice building? Talk to you. You wanna hear about Shirogane-kun? Oh, this is interesting. I saw him get really angry. I'm not sure what it was about, but he was with the policeman. I wonder what happened to make him shout like that. This was in the shopping district a little while ago. Hmm. Alright, now with that out the way, head on to the shopping district. District North. Scoodle our boodles up here. Oh! While I'm doing this, because I have understanding now. Take the tutor job. Cool. Now we got that out the way. Um, I'm also going to... Buy like two of these. Just make sure, you know? <laughs> Policeman up here. What do you want? I'm in the middle of something here, so don't bother me. If school's out, go home already. I fucking swear, kids these days. He doesn't seem to be in the mood to talk. It may be best to make a change of plans. Talk, and now I think we gotta find Chie. Right? Yeah. I guess it's no good unless we act like we're Nato-kun's friends and we're worried about him. I mean... 
I mean, I guess we're acquaintances, but I mean, aren't we worried about Naoto? Isn't that why we're doing this? Like, Naoto hasn't been to school recently and we're getting worried. Is he busy with police work? When I ask them something like that, Jay's suggestion does seem to make sense. Next time you speak to police, man, you should try that. Even idiots gotta have a good idea at some point. All right, what the fuck? Damn, Chia, you got here fast. All right, speak to me, policeman. You got some business with me, kid? Just because I don't look like it, I'm still busy, you know? You told them that Nato hasn't come to school lately and that you're worried. Shiragane, do you know him? I haven't seen him at the station lately, either. Funny, it wasn't that long ago that he's... That he'd... Fuck. It wasn't that long ago that he'd be around well into the night, looking through the files. Even if he wasn't satisfied with the case's outcome, he seems to have... Have been so... Fuck. He seems to be so focused that I thought he was obsessed with it. You listen to him talk about Nato. Maybe you should try talking to other police officers. I know the exact one. Adachi, can you help me out, man? Wow, the town's getting excited. I don't really know much about Nato-kun's interview, but... Well, it's a fact that he helped solve the case, so it's not a surprise that he was interviewed on his contributions. And I'd rather, and I'd rather have people excited about things like this than all the bad news, you know? Thanks, Adachi. You helped out. Thanks. Any poems for us, Marie? Aww. I wanted a poem. Damn it. I guess not. Alright. So that's it for today. Cause, um, whatchamacallit. The next person we talk to won't spawn until tomorrow, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over and ride my scooter, because we need to do this for later. Right around the neighborhood. It's very quiet when the when the game doesn't play any fun music. <laughs> hey. You were able to make it to Okina City. You now have you now have the feel for the local area. Cool. First thing I want to do, win a Jack Frost doll. Come on, give me that doll. Damn it, one more attempt. Give me that doll. Oh. Come on. Want that damn doll? Dry ice? Who the fuck puts dry ice in a fucking crane game? Come on. Shit. Damn it. Let me see. Who has the most luck? 37? 26? 37 is my highest one. And it's equipped. I'm not sure if luck actually helps you with this, but I hope it does. Come on, give me the doll, damn it. I'll be a good boy. Damn it. You don't see any prizes that you think you have a chance of winning. You should give up for today. Fuck you. <laughs> give up today. So here in Okino City, there's a couple of things you can do. Now that we have access to this place, there are times where a movie will be playing. And if you take, um, you know, you can take some of your friends out to the movies. It doesn't advance their social link, but it gives them some points. And if it's uh, one of your teammates, it can give them a new move for their persona. Uh, let's see. What is this? Bookstore. Bookstore is a bookstore. I'm not even sure if you can buy things from it, to be honest. Over here is co- is fucking coke- fuck. Crow crow for- I can't even say it. Fucking the clothing shop. You can come over here and buy some nice clothing items if you want. They're very fucking expensive. It's kind of- it's more kind of for like New Game Plus, really. 
right? But, you know, there's that. If you ever want to change their outfits, and you got some money to burn, you can do that. And then over here is the cafe, which I believe drinking coffee will let you remember one of your older persona skills, depending on which persona you have equipped. So, I mean, if you want to do that, then there's that, right? And that's pretty much it for the city. Gonna get out of there, head back to the Dojima residence, and we're gonna go for a long ride. Do that three times so we can unlock the beach area. Because we're gonna have to unlock that for a request later. Oh shit! This is the first time I've ever been in this area, okay. After getting completely lost, you wandered over the nearby mountain, but you feel as though you're starting to get a feel for the place. You'll need to ride around a little bit more to get better acquainted with the area. I've never came to this spot before on the scooter. Usually, he stops at like a crossroads or some bullshit. And then he makes a deal with the devil. Never ridden there either? Exactly. That's nice. Oh, welcome back. Learn something new every day. Hmm. You can work as a janitor. That's cool. Uh, hang out with me, Nanako. Um. Nanako looks as if she's not doing anything. You feel the relationship will become closer. Yeah. Nanako, what rank are we at? You gotta be close to being fucking. Come on. Um, you know the photo you found before? I gave it back to Dad. He looked happy and smiled at me. Big bro, I love my dad. He loves you too. <laughs> I think so too. Dad didn't forget about how we used to pick flowers at Samagawa. It is pronounced Samagawa. Fuck yeah. He smiled at me and said, You remember too? Dad loves mom. I feel sorry for him losing someone he loves. Yeah, she's not lost. Just dead Dad and buried six feet under. Too. He said, she's inside of me. You and I are gonna have to talk about the bird and the bees when you get older, okay? It's just... I don't really get what he said, but I know what he meant. A gentle, mature smile across Nanako's face. I'm glad to be Dad's daughter. Nanako's smiling so happily. Through that smile, you feel your relationship has grown deeper. <laughs> Mom's not lost, she's right there in the grave. You want to see her right now? Just dig her up. <laughs> That's fucked up. Maybe I took it a little too far. It's your turn to talk. Just about Nanako's bedtime. What will you do? Let's play with her. Yay! Then, uh, I know. Let's play cards. You decided to play some cards with her. It's getting late, so you put Nanako to bed and went to your own room. Listen, I'm the cool, I'm the cool, I'm the cool one. I'm the cool cousin, right? Dad's not here? Fuck it, we staying up till 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Did you all have a memorable summer vacation? I had a beautiful time in Egypt. But who the fuck asked? <laughs> it's kinda mean. The people were very kind to me. They were proper. They were probably able. Fuck. They were probably able to sense my deep appreciation and love for their history. I even found some things with my dowsing rod. The citizens were very glad indeed. Time sure flies when you're having fun. I'm sure your summer break was short for all of you as well. However, don't you think that there's some things in life that are best in, that are best to end quickly? War is one of them. So here's a quite. Wow, that got real dark real fast. <laughs> Miss Chie, no, you. Is that dude sleeping in class? <laughs> the dude in front of me? How short was history's shortest war? 40 minutes. Good job, you. I'm impressed, you know. Yes, the shortest war in history lasted only 40 minutes. It was the Angelo, Zan Angelo Zanzibar War. 
which began with an already staggering difference in military resources. Mind you, this lecture will be longer than the actual war we're going to talk about. There's so much to learn. Gave the answer. Gave the correct answer. Your knowledge has increased. It can't go up any higher. I'm too damn smart. Classes have ended for today. The fog is setting in, and we gotta get shit for Rize. All right, so into town. First things first. Uh. Before I forget, head to the shrine, grab our new request from the fox. There's the police officer we have to talk to. Just gonna skip that. Honestly, there's really nothing to look at. <laughs> so we get a new request. This one, I believe, if memory serves me right, we have to help a guy get over his fear of cats. Which is a uh, Emma request that requires you to do another request. That requires you to do like two requests beforehand. So you talk to this guy. Miyoko-san. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> well, it's okay, right? People have the right to think to, of their beloved. I'm getting married. Oh, good for you, man. The man seems melancholic. Fuck. Melancholic. <laughs> melancholic about his wedding for some reason. Damn it. Everything would be great if it wasn't for him. Who am I talking about? The horrendous furball. The c- uh, oh, I'm scared. I can't even say it. Those fanged demons are terrifying. The cat? Uh, don't say the word. The C word. The man is actually physically trembling at the thought of cats. Perhaps he's- the, I mean, it could be worse. You can be that guy from fucking The Mori Show who was scared of peaches. <laughs> oh man, I shouldn't be laughing at that. Perhaps he's the one who wrote them a request. He must overcome his fear of cats. The meowing and the whiskers and the evil little claws. It's all just so scary. Of all the pets miyoko san wants to have, a cat? She said we can't get married if I won't let her have one. Wait, so she doesn't even have the cat yet? She doesn't even have the cat yet and she's like, well, I'm not getting married unless I get a cat. Man, dump that fucking fool. What? I mean, if you're terrified of cats like that, it's kind of fucked up that she won't respect it. You know what I'm talking about? It's like someone being terrified of dogs. And they're just being like, no, we gotta get a dog. I'm not marrying you unless we get a dog. Try to figure out the way to force him to overcome his fear. I'm gonna bring Cat here. I'll do it. Stop it. Stop it right now. What do you want? Money? I'll give you money. Just get away from me. Oh. So... This is, this is like a three-parter quest, I guess. So you talk to that guy, and we have to feed this cat over here. But in order to do that, we have to get the request from a guy that tells us to feed the cat. But in order to unlock that request, we have to first do the first request that he has, which is trade the peach seed for a goddamn book. And I don't have a peach seed on me. And the only way to get peach seeds is to go into the goddamn TV world. Yes, you have to go into the TV world to get a fucking peach seed. I don't know why. I don't know why you can't just head to a store and buy one. I guess you can buy, maybe get lucky and buy like a bundle from the Tanaka shopping show, but fucking whatever, man. So, whatever. Set that in motion right now, and all we gotta do is talk to this police officer. Good morning, officer. Well, good morning, more like good afternoon. How can I help you? Did you see someone suspicious? You told them that Naoto has to come to school has to come to school lately and you're worried. The kid's skipping school to do his investigation? What's its problem, really? The department has all but closed the case. Just because he's not satisfied? Sheesh. All we want to do is shut the book on this thing so we don't have to deal with it anymore. Oh she let it go already. No wonder why the no wonder why the whole department treats him like a kid. He's getting all worked up over nothing. And that's why everyone gives him the cold shoulder, you know? You learned something about Nato. You should put together the information you gathered. This, uh, what the fuck? I can't even read anymore. With regard to this investigation, you discover that Nato has an obsession with this case. What did the police think of Nato? They consider him a child. It seems that Nato has a fr- fr- God damn it. Fer- fervid- that, That's a word I never used in my life. Fervid? Fer- fervid? 
God, my vocabulary is like fucking low tier God right now. Fucking temper peating. <laughs> that man pisses in bottles. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. Obsession with the investigation, but it seems that his obsession was not well received, and the police treat him like a child. You think you understand Nanto a bit more? You should report to Rize. That man said, I piss in bottles. <laughs> he held up a fucking. He held up a goddamn big ass, like, container with piss in it. And he had a fucking smile on his face while he was doing it. That dude's nasty. Oh, Jesus. There's people like that that exist. And people paid like 200 bucks to see that. People are fucking weird, man. <laughs> Anyways. We got our information for uh, now to. Oh, actually, before I do that, head back to the shopping district real quick. Just make sure that I run over here. Save this. I gotta make a save, like, before I go into the goddamn TV world. Alright. Seem to have our affairs in order, yes, right? Yes, yes. Stats. Gonna have a bit of a problem here, because I didn't get my chance to grind like I wanted to, so Chie and Yukiko are gonna be holding us back a bit. But hopefully not too much. Gather yeah, everyone at the food court. Before oh, I everyone's here. Before I go in here, let me see how much time I have. Ooh. <laughs> Damn it. Well I got like about about like forty minutes. Around forty minutes left in the stream for tonight. So Probably won't finish the goddamn dungeon tonight, but next stream we definitely will. Okay, let's go. I think I made up my mind instead of just like switching on and off with the uh, with Persona and um and f and uh, I keep wanting to say Phoenix right in Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. I think I'm just gonna focus on Persona Four right now, and then after that let's finish uh, Ace Attorney Chronicles, and then I'll think about what the hell we're doing next. Oh, hey, Senpai. Found any clues? Tell me quick. I'll find him in a jiffy. Alright. Oh, first of all... I see. Oh, shit. I didn't want to... So he's being stubborn about the case. Damn it. I actually wanted to go talk to the fox first. But it seems like it's rare for Naoto-kun to get so worked up over something. It's Naoto-kun you're talking about and the one I'm talking about the same Naoto because I don't think it is. Okay. I've got a good feel for him. I think I can do this. It won't take long for me to find him with my persona, so be ready to follow me once I do. Why you gotta say like that, Rizzo? Are you gonna just like take on full sprint? <laughs> what is this place? It's all sci fi. Hey, doesn't it remind you of those secret hideouts in live action shows? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I used to watch Featherman all the time when I was a kid. I hear that those are really tough shoots. A lot of the actors do their own stunts, like jumping through fire themselves. Listen, I'm not an actor or stuntman, but I, I don't feel like Power Rangers or fucking, uh, or, uh, what's the other one? Fucking Sentai Rangers, the one that are like bugs and shit. Fucking... <laughs> I don't feel like doing those stunts are hard because most of the time it's them just like flailing their arms and while like an explosion happens in the background and they're playing it in slow-mo. Well, it's every man's dream to do that stuff. Yeah, I can understand that. They're action-based, like kung fu movies. And just the phrase secret hideout has this exciting ring to it. Totally hear you, girl. Actually, when I was a kid, I had my own secret place near the mountain by Yukiko's house. All right, Shea, wipe the drool from your mouth. 
I'd pretend that a legendary kung fu master was teaching me special techniques. What the? Got it all wrong. But hey, so this secret hideout thing, it came from Naoto's mind? What the fuck, Yosuke? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I love how she's like, yeah, when I was a kid, I imagined I was learning secret techniques from a fucking kung fu master. And then Yosuke's like, what the fuck is wrong with you, Che? By the way, we call our we call a food court our special hideout. Great, Yosuke. Great fucking job. Amazing. Perfect logic. I guess our proper boy detective isn't as grown up as he looks. All right, let's get going. You have a pinpoint. You have pinpointed Naoto's location. All that's left is to save him. You should prepare yourselves for the upcoming rescue mission. All right. So first things first. Before I do anything, I want to actually talk to this fox and pat his head. Snuffle. Thank you, buddy. All right. Um, I like to save. Like, once outside and once inside. Alright. Gotta fuse a persona. Let's see. I'm level 45. The highest level we can go for right now is... Do -do 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 42. Lovers. 43 Chariot. Wait, was that 47 or was that 27? Oh, that was 17. That's 39. 40 Gimbu. 43 Fuki stars. Weak to fire. I'm trying to remember what Naoto's like whole entire dungeon was focused on. And I don't think it really had a focus. Fifty-nine, which I mean, it's not gonna happen. Every Persona game is like, yo, you wanna make Anubis? You can do it right now. <laughs> JK, <laughs> you can't make Anubis. Like Persona Three and onwards, it's like, yo, you wanna make Anubis? What? What if you made Anubis right now? JK, you can't do it. You're not strong enough. Uh, so what's what's the fucking Persona I got on me right now? Pravati, forty-two. Oh shit. What are you weak against? We against fire. I have evade elect for some goddamn reason. Regenerate and invigorate Meteorama, Agi, Bufu, Magaru. Alright, we'll run around with Pravati. Seems like it's not gonna be too much trouble. She's weak against fire, right? Okay. <laughs> Head to the club, girl! Search for Nato. Um. One of the things I'm going to have to do before I run out of this goddamn TV world, I'm going to have to head to Yukiko's castle and grab myself a peach seed. Alright, so, team for this. I said it earlier, but I'm grabbing Chie, right? Mainly because I'm trying to think of what other time are we going to use Chie, and as of right now, besides here, I don't think I really have any future plans of using Chie later on, right? Yukiko. She's going to be our main healer from now on. Um, well, yeah, okay, yeah. Well, I, I'm thinking, like, towards the end game, we're going to use her for healing. Like, for the final dungeon, for the final area, so might as well get some levels in there. And, of course, Kanji, for reasons. That, and he's a goddamn tank. Now, since we have that set up, it's really nice that we have two of them, which have their... They have their ultimate persona, so hopefully they won't hold us back too much. Divine Grace, Vade Ice. Alright, cool. And with Rize's whole weakness scan thing, we shouldn't have too much problems. Famous last words. Good luck. And I think I got two chest keys? Maybe three? Take off. 